28. Go. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, 15. Jesus spoke these words when he was about to be taken into heaven. He was giving his final charge to his disciples. He was leaving them with their major task. He committed the gospel to his disciples and told them to preach the gospel to every creature on earth. He had done his own bit on earth. Now he was giving us our assignment. Now this assignment is not just for the disciples, but for everyone who has believed in Jesus. Jesus offers us an abundant life on earth and eternal life subsequently. But he also requires that we share the gifts we've received with others. In all of Jesus' messages, he stated that he came for all. He came for everyone. He came to save the entire mankind from the consequences of their sin. He also came to enlist us in that assignment. How well have you fared in taking the good news of salvation to every creature? If this was important to Jesus, it should be important to you and I. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, we see that God does not want anyone to perish, but wants all to come to repentance. God desires that everyone should be saved and he has given us that mandate and we should take it seriously. Paul admonishes us in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5 to do the work of an evangelist. So we must broadcast the good news that we have received to others using our gifts, talents, and resources to accomplish what's important to God. Our priorities must align with God's priorities. First, we must understand and be sure of our own salvation. Philippians 2 verse 12 urges us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. We cannot give what we do not have. Then, we must live our lives in ways that represent the Master. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 2 and 3, we are told that we are living epistles of Christ to be read of all men. The popular saying goes thus, preach the gospel at all times, and if necessary, use words. End quote. We must realize that people see us before they hear us. Then, we must constantly pray for others and ask God to show us which groups of people he has called us to minister unto. God promises that as we go for him, he will equip us, he will guide us, and he will never leave us alone. Today, determine to share your faith with someone and keep on spreading the good news. Jesus saves. Prayer Dear Lord, I thank you for saving me. I thank you for delivering me and giving me the promise of eternal life. I ask for mercy in ways that I might have been selfish or negligent in carrying out your instruction to preach the gospel to every creature. I ask, Lord, for help in this assignment. Help me to see the groups of people you have called me to and give me the grace to do this task diligently. I commit my sh to share my faith in you with others. I commit to live my life according to your principles. Help me, Lord, in Jesus' name. For further reading, read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 1 to 6. This devotional is brought to you by Holy Trinity Lagos, a spirit-filled church where we experience the power of the Word of God and the beauty of tradition. For more information, you can visit our website on www.holytrinitylagos.org. God bless you.